Hello students. Today I am going to discuss about the biology topic of mutations that is going to be proved beneficial for 10th plus 2 as well as BSc students. Uh, hope you will like it. So first of all we will discuss the difference between the variations and mutations. Variations are the slow changes that occur generation after generation whereas mutations are the sudden heritable changes that causes the alteration in the phenotypic appearance of the characters. Phenotypic appearance means morphological appearance that they look like. So there is a change in the morphological characters in case of the mutations. In case of variations, there are the differences between the two individuals of a species. But in case of mutations, there are the alterations caused in the nucleotide sequences of the gene. So first, I would like to tell that the term mutation was firstly given by Hugo de Vries when he was working with the Enothera Lamarckiana species and if we talk about the earliest record of the mutations that dates back to 1791 when Seth Wright noticed a male lamb with the unusual short legs in his flock of sheep. That male lamb occurred as a source to produce the new species or new breed of the species, uh, sheep that is known as the Ankin breed of sheep. Now I would like to tell that uh, in India it was initiated in early 1930s and T.H. Uh, Morgan uh, started the systematic studies on mutation uh, in 1910. On Drosophila melanogaster he worked first of all. Drosophila melanogaster is the fruit fly. There is certain uh, terminology that uh, you should know about uh, uh, it uh, to understand the concept of the mutations. First of all, we will discuss mm. all the terms mm. one by one. First term is muton. Muton jo hai wo smallest unit hai gene ka that is capable uh, to produce mutation jo mutation kar sakta hai and that is represented by a nucleotide wo ek nucleotide ki uh, form mein represent karta hai apne aap ko now next term is mutator gene a gene which causes another gene to cause the mutation simultaneously jo gene ek dusri gene ko apne saath saath force kar rahi hai mutation cause karne ke liye that gene is called as mutator gene now the next term is Mutable genes. The genes that show high rate of mutations as compared to the other genes are called mutable genes. Next term is mutant. Any organism or cell in which the mutation has occurred with the help of the mutant allele, that organism is known as mutant. Koi bhi aisa organism ya koi bhi cell jis mein mutation hui hai usse hum mutant bolte hai. Now what is mutagen? Any physical or chemical agent. Koi bhi physical ya chemical agent jo mutation ko cause kar raha hai, induce kar sakta hai. That is called as mutagen. Hotspots. Hotspots are the highly mutable sites within a gene. Ek gene mein jaha par sabse jada mutations hoti hai. That sites are known as hotspots. What are gene mutations or point mutations? The changes which alter the chemical structure of a gene. Jo changes chemical structure ko change kar deti hai gene ke at the molecular level that are known as gene mutations or point mutations. This is all about the introduction of the mutations. Now we can discuss uh, the classification of uh, mutations. 
Mutation can be classified in several ways. Based on the direction of mutations, it is of uh, they are of two types. First is forward mutation, and second one is uh, reverse or backward mutation. Uh, in case of forward mutation, what happens when there occurs a change from the wild type allele to the mutant type allele? Now, what is wild allele? Wild allele वो allele होती है जो किसी भी normal population में usually occur कर रही है उसके अलावा अगर कोई भी variant allele है that will be called as mutant allele. And uh, one more thing we can uh, uh, I can tell you about that mute uh, wild allele is represented by symbol plus. So another uh, mutation is backward mutation when there occurs a change from the mutant allele backwards to the wild allele. That type of mutation is known as backward mutation. Now based on the source or the cause of the mutations, the mutations are again of two types. One is a spontaneous mutation and other is induced mutation. When the natural uh, mutation occurs without the cause of, uh, without the co interference of any agent, then the mutation is called as spontaneous mutation. When the mutagens help to induce the mutation then the mutations are called as induced mutations based on the tissue of the origin mutations are again classified uh, into two types based on the origin uh, of the tissues one is a somatic mutation and other is a germinal mutation when the mutation occurs in the somatic tissues uh, uh, the mutation uh, is known as a somatic mutation and the, when the mutation occurs in the germinal cells that are the gametic cells in our body then the mutation is called as germinal mutation based on the effect of survival mutations are of uh, four types first is lethal mutation mutation which kills the individual uh, in the frequency of 100 percent i would say that type of mutation is known as lethal mutation sublethal mutation when mortality is more than 50 percent of individuals then mutation is uh, called as sublethal mutation Sub-vital mutation, when mortality is less than 50% uh, but uh, there is a fatality rate, then the mutation is called as sub-lethal mutation and uh, sorry, sub-vital mutation and uh, another last one is vital mutation. When there is no fatality rate, all the individuals survive, then that type of mutation is known as vital mutation. Last is based on the trait or the character affected. There are again two types of mutations. First is morphological mutation and other one is biochemical mutation. A mutation that alters the morphological features of an individual that is known as morphological mutation and other one is biochemical mutation. A mutation that uh, alters the biochemical function of an individual that is known as biochemical uh, mutation. So based on the site of mutation, uh, I can uh, explain the three types of mutation that are chromosomal mutation, gene mutations or cytoplasmic mutation. When the mutations are associated with the detectable changes uh, in the chromosome that are the mutations known as chromosomal mutations. When the mutations produced by the alteration in the base sequences of the genes, the mutations are called as gene mutations and uh, last is cytoplasmic mutation. When the mutations are associated with the chloroplast DNA and the mitochondrial DNA in the cytoplasm, the mutations are called as uh, cytoplasmic mutations. That's all. Uh, this is about the introductory part and the classification of the mutations. Hope uh, you will like the lecture and uh, I'll keep on continuing posting the videos uh, uh, on the different topics. Thank you.